Hey you, you like free things? Because I like to give away free things. And if you want free things like these, then like, comment, share, and subscribe. What's up everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy Joe Dice. And um, today I just wanted to take a step back from my regular content. You know, the fun and exciting stuff that I do. And um, kind of have a heart to heart while I drive. Obviously I'm driving. So if I'm not looking at the screen, it's because I'm driving. Um... Yeah, so 2020. Yeah, thank you all, by the way, for all the birthday wishes. And I got so many. It was overwhelming and I loved it. I loved every single one. And I try to get, I try to respond to every single one. If I missed you, I'm sorry. It was just so many. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give me. Um, 2020 is. All right, so when I think of this year, I'm very optimistic, very optimistic. And for some reason, more than any other year, I feel like this year is going to be the year that I'm happy. That, that you know, I mean, I'm happy every day. But this, this year just feels like it's something bright, something to look forward to. New year, new me, whatever you want to call it. I just feel like this year is going to be a game changer, and there's a bunch of stuff I want to do, I want to do collabs, uh, I'm, I'm been trying to reach out to Omi and a Hellcat, for those of you who don't know who Omi and a Hellcat is, his, uh, his YouTube will be linked in the description, alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, I gotta go through this drive through and I gotta get me a coffee, so just give me a second, okay, I got my coffee, <coughs> Sorry about that. Needed my coffee, you know. Makes everybody say better. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So as I was saying, for those of you who don't know who Omi and Hellcat is, his uh, YouTube will be in the description. Now, for those of you, I'm just gonna give you a brief rundown of him. Omi is a guy who went from you know being your just going based off knowledge that he's put out. Um, he's a guy who went from being a, a delivery boy to, you know, becoming an entrepreneur, to becoming a, a big YouTuber, and he, yes, he did have his run-in with the law, because he was, the FBI seized everything, and I believe it, you, you can't fake that, you can't, um, but even though he made it big, I'm talking about millions, millions, millions. He's made it big. And even though he made it big, he never forgot where he came from. He always looked out for the little guy. Even now, even after the FBI seized everything, and there are still haters and there are still people saying, oh, it's fake, oh, you're paying people off, oh, this, oh, that. He still goes out of his way to make sure he can look out for you. He still goes... And with the, the, the bit of money he makes, he still, if he sees you struggling, he'll still help you out. And he's just, he's a nice guy. I mean, obviously I can't speak because I've never met him in person. And I would love to. I would love to. I really want to do a collab with him. And I, even if it's not just a collab, I would like to hang out with him because the vibe he puts off and... If you sit there, because I'm not that kind of person that when you watch a YouTube video, you'll skip through it to get to the good parts. No, if I watch a YouTube video, I watch it from beginning to end. And he even brought up a good point. Like, if you have a favorite YouTuber, why not support him or her by before you go to sleep? Just take your tablet and just set it to a playlist and let it play through. You ain't got to watch it. You ain't got to listen to it. You can mute it. It's just... I mean, it, it helps out if you can. That'd be nice. But skipping through the videos hurts. But anyways, he's all around a nice guy. And he tries to help everybody. He gives people jobs. He gives people the entertainment. He, yo, he'll lend you the shirt. He'll give you the shirt off his back, bro. He would literally give you the shirt off his back. And I, I'm not going to say, oh, well, um, how do you know that? You never met him. I've seen him do it in person. Not in person. I've seen him do it. And his videos. And 
Yo, this guy went out of his way during his live stream to make one of those apps that whoever wants, they can call him. And it wasn't fake. He legit had people calling him. I tried. I'm not going to front. I tried. I called them like a bit. I called them a bit. His phone was getting blown up. I didn't get there. But he's the kind of guy that, that literally gives, gives his all. And he doesn't want anything in return. He doesn't, he doesn't go, hey, yo, you want to collab $500, $5,000. You know, he doesn't do that. He, he's not the kind of guy, like, he doesn't, he, he, he pays it forward. He pays it forward. And he's very kind-hearted. I, I, could, I could go on. Oh, me, if by some miracle you do watch this video. I love you, man. And I would love to collab with you. So, yeah, my about page has my email. Plus, I've emailed you. The Dice Club. Anyways, <laughs> that, that, that's not what this is all about. There's, um, there's a lot of talk about World War III with this whole thing with I Iran. And all I have to say is, like, don't get tied up in it. If it happens, it happens. It's out of your control. So, don't live your life by, oh my god, you know, World War III, let me, let me go crazy. No, don't. It happens, it happens. Just know that America has the strongest military, most intelligent military, the best all-around military in the entire world. The only one I would fear would be Russia, and you don't even worry about nukes. The... the Nukes would be the last thing you should ever fear because it's not going to happen. It won't. Just don't fear it. Trust me when I say it's not going to happen. Um, they wouldn't nuke us for the simple fact, aside from those uh, those terrorist countries that blow themselves up, the, they don't care about nuking because they don't care if they get nuked. But these big countries like Russia and China or or any other one that's going to try and help them, they wouldn't want to get nuked. So they wouldn't nuke us. Just common sense. Um, this year started out really great. I mean, for me, it's still going great. I'm still very optimistic about what's going on this year. And I think you should be too. I know there's a lot probably going on in your life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you personally. I would love to know you personally. I'd love to know all of you personally. I mean, that's why I'm kind of creating my own wrestling company. So that way, my goal is to go across the country and then eventually go across the world. I would love to do that. But that's not my main goal. I love cars. I love cars. I got my Corvette. And I want to do Corvette con. I want to do uh, car content. So, um... I still want to travel the world. I'd love to do meet and greets. I'd love to do lives with other people, collabs with other people. Even, yo, know, if you see me on the street, don't hesitate to come say hello. I'm not a bad person. I would say hello, photos, hugs, everything. All you gotta do is approach me. I love meeting fans. Absolutely love it. Don't bombard me. Don't, don't overwhelm me. Like... <laughs> Be, be discreet, then not discreet, be, um, just, you know, don't overdo it, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do up a lot, it's just, I love you all, I love you all, and I wanna, that's why, even though, I, think of it, I'm not monetized by any means, this is the second, um, video I'm making in 2020, so I got a long way to go before I'm monetized. I'm hoping to get monetized by the end of the year. That's one of the goals, cross the fingers. But I'm not monetized. And I still go out of my way to make sure that I give back to you with giveaways. Even though it's a little bit. But it's more than most people are doing. If you go and check out even people that I associate with that are youtubers whether big or small they don't give back like i do not saying at all in no way by saying my better than them 
don't don't try and flip it because that's not cool. Um, I'm just saying that I it's in my nature to want to give back. If you ask Shamar, as 14 Kid, as uh, Ace Hitman Jones, anybody that I associate with, I go out of my way to make sure that you're taken care of. I go out of my way to make sure that I look out for you as much as I possibly can. Um, and I do it with anybody, anybody that enters my life. As long as you don't screw me, um, I always look out for you. But yeah, um, that, that's another thing I'd like to address. There are some very negative people on the internet, very negative people, and they say the negative the, the the internet is filled with negativity, but don't assume that. Go in thinking positive. It is wrong for you to go onto somebody's video and just comment negative stuff about somebody because you don't like them. They're not actually hurting you. They're not affecting you in any way, shape, or form. This is a YouTuber you've never in your life met in person. But you're going out of your way to try and hurt their feelings. You're going out of their way to, you know, drop a thumbs down or try and ruin uh, ruin their YouTube career. Or whatever it is you're... Not you specifically. Whatever it is that people are trying to do that's negative... There is no need for it. No need for it. We, we, as in a, a YouTube community, we don't go out of our way. Well, most of us don't go out of our way to cause any sort of harm or hurt anybody's feelings. Like we, we all love each other. We all try to grow together, and that's that's really what it's supposed to be. You know, we're all trying to make a dollar here, dollar there. Why why bring the negativity? That's why a lot of people just just ignore it. That's it. If you post a photo and somebody goes, Oh, you're trash, you should delete this. Or oh you shouldn't be doing that, you know, you're you're stupid, you're you're dumb, whatever, whatever. Just ignore it. Like seriously, because that person just went out of their way for no reason at all. To try and bring you down while you're happy. And that's the thing. People don't like other people. Uh, like People don't like seeing other people happy. When they're not happy. And it's so messed up. It's so messed up. People nowadays need to get out of that train of thought. Because it's not. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It's exactly what it is. It's disgusting. Just because I'm having a bad day. Doesn't mean I should take it out on, on people anybody, on anybody, I'm not going to take it out on the person, well, I'm kind of going to take it out on the person that I'm mad at, but don't dwell on it, bro, you only got one life that we know of, why spend it angry, why spend it dwelling on stuff, why spend it being petty, alright, yo, this dude just stole $5 from me, alright, cool, you know what, sure, you know what, let it be, bro, I'm not going to harass you for it. I hope that five dollars made you happy. I just know not to trust you anymore. But I don't care. I don't care. You need me, I'm still there for you because I'm not gonna let five dollars come between, you know, you and I. I just know where where we stand. Where we stand. And that's just hypothetical. Just hypothetical. I'm not saying that at anybody specific. But your goal is to be happy, and you can't be happy in an age where depression is everywhere. Stop being depressed. It's easier said than done. Depression, it, it's so hard to kick, but try and be optimistic. Try your hardest to be optimistic. It, 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 see the glass half full, not half empty. There are a lot of people out there that love you, including me. I don't know you, but I love you. There are a lot of people out there that love you and that are uh, willing to do anything for you. Just to make you smile. 
there's always somebody out there that would give up anything just to make you smile. That's me. And again, you could ask these guys that I associate with. I do. I do. I just want you all to be happy. Anyways, I'm really ranting. Just 13 minutes of ranting. I love you all. Please, find it in your heart. Drop that thumbs up. If it's not too much, share it. Share the video. Share the video. Share. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Obviously, hit that little notification bell. Ding. Hopefully, Copa doesn't hurt us too much. <laughs> all right. I'm going to see you all later. I love you. Oh, live stream. Um, I know I, I've been slacking on the live streams. Normally, my live streams are every Sunday, but I miss a few. Sorry. Uh, this Sunday, this Sunday, yeah, this Sunday, I'll probably get back to them. Uh, I got some earbuds, some more earbuds to give away. So, stay tuned for that. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment. Hmm, what should you comment? Comment. I don't know what you should comment. It's so hard. What should you comment? Comment. Uh, love life. No. Comment. Hashtag. Live life to the fullest. Yep, do that. Live life to the fullest. 2020. Alright, now. I love, I love you. I love you. Bye.